Hi, I'm Jeremy Winters, Product Specialist here at Gunworks. Today we're going to go over one of the common issues guys have when collecting data to either build a drop chart or a ballistic compensator like we use on our systems. Uh, we field hundreds of calls a month uh, where guys cannot re-verify their data once they've shot it one day and go out and try to return the same data, uh, let's say a week later. And one of the common issues is that we see is the Coriolis effect. And what guys are not doing is taking into account the effect that this can have on your shooting at longer ranges. Now, real quick, let's kind of just uh, explain the Coriolis effect in layman's terms. Uh, the Coriolis effect is the effect that when the bullet leaves the barrel of the gun, it is actually leaving the surface of the earth. So as the bullet leaves the, the barrel of the gun, the earth is still rotating and the bullet is not rotating with the earth. So the earth will actually rotate out from underneath of the bullet while it is in flight. So as the earth rotates, it actually rotates from the west to the east. So what that's going to do to our targets is, is if you're shooting west, your target's going to rotate up and towards us, which is going to cause the bullets to hit lower. And if you're facing east, the target's going to be dropping and slightly moving away, which is going to cause the hits to be higher. Now, uh, why this is important is, is out to a thousand yards, you could have almost a full minute of correction uh, due to Coriolis effect, depending on which direction you sighted in your zero. Now, to show you guys just how much effect there's going to be, we're going to put on a little shooting demonstration here. Uh, I've got targets um, east or west and east of us, exactly 1,000 yards in each direction. So what we're going to do to prove this Coriolis effect on, on our rifle here is we're going to shoot it out to 1,000 to the west and we're going to shoot it to 1,000 to the east and we're going to measure the difference um, in those group centers. And, and hopefully it's going to show you guys that uh, this kind of error can lead to big, bigger errors in your drop data. Got three hits on the steel down there. We're gonna switch directions, switch the bents over, and we're gonna shoot east now. All right, we got three more hits on this steel down here. Now we're gonna rack up all our gear. We're gonna go check these out, measure them up, show you the results. All right, we've made it down to our target that we shot at the west. This is our west target here. And as you can see, they've all dropped in uh, quite low. Um, we've got eight inches from center to the center of the group, um, which is a little lower than we expected, but we were dealing with some pretty stiff mirage. Um, so we got a nice little group here. We're going to pack up this target and head down to our target that we shot uh, to the east. And we'll compare the two groups and uh, show you the difference of just switching directions. That's all we did. We switched from west to east. All right, we've made it down to our target on the, the east target now. And as you can see, uh, they're not, not quite too high. Uh, we've got about three inches, maybe three and a half to the center of the group above bullseye. Um, so if we compare this to our other target, we're three inches high here, we're eight inches low there. That's uh, 11 inches, just over a minute of difference between just shooting from the west to the east. Now, how does this affect you and your data? Um, one minute um, with this 7LRM that we're shooting at 1,000 yards is worth 70 feet per second if you were trying to develop drop data. Um, and that could, could make huge differences um, in your drop data and your custom turret uh, if you were to actually figure the data shooting east and west. So the tip today is 
Always do your data either north and south. That will eliminate your Coriolis up and down or know how much effect that has on it and take that into account on your ballistic data.